Live on Joy News today, welcome. Now, the Supreme Court has ruled that Justice Clemens Honyanuga can join four other justices to hear the Saul case. Lawyer for the residents, led by Tachi Chikata this morning, accused that judge of bias. He told the court Justice Honyanuga has a long-standing personal relationship with Ohoye MP-elect John Peter Amewu. The panel comprising Justices Appel, Presiding, Mafosao, Tokonu, Honyenuka, and Amadu Tanko ruled that the allegation had no substance and the interest of John Peter Amewu is remotely connected to the case at the Apex Court. Court correspondent Joseph Akable joins us via telephone with more. Joseph, tell us more about this allegation of bias made by Chacho Chigata. Live on Joy News today. Unfortunately, we lost Joseph Akable. We will bring back that reporter so that we can conclude the conversation. Now, of course, we know that this is a key case concerning the swearing in of Mr. Uh, John Peter Amewu. Joseph Akable has rejoined us now. Um, so, Joseph, tell us what are the details of this allegation that Mr. Chikata made. And so, Daniel, according to Mr. Chikata, he says uh, Justice Onyenuka has a long standing a personal relationship with the Hohoi MP elect, uh, John Peter Meu, and he has witnesses that if the court allows the full trial on the matter, he's prepared to invite those witnesses to substantiate uh, the, the allegation in that allowing just to, to sit on this particular matter will amount to bias since the interest of Ameu will be served because Ameu stands to benefit from whatever decisions or suffer from whatever decisions that the court will take. And so that was the base of that request that he made to the court. And what did the AG's office say in response? Uh, Deputy Attorney General Godfrey Adami told the court that no particulars have been given to the court to substantiate the allegation and it remains at the best a mere allegation in that a reference has not been made about how this relationship is and how this relationship can impact mm. the case. He again made the point that this is a matter that Mr. Amewu is even not a defendant in, in terms of the AG's application right. at the Supreme Court. is between the Attorney General's office and the interested parties, and Mr. Amewu is not joined to it. And so it's a jurisdictional issue and nothing about it relates to uh, the matters relating to Amewu standing to benefit directly from it. Now explain how the court concluded, Joseph, that the energy minister is remotely connected to the case. And so the court said that it's a jurisdiction issue that can be dealt with independent of whether or not Mr. Amewu benefits from it, in that he may benefit eventually, but it is remote. The immediate action that the court is taking is to determine whether the high court who can hear a case that involves Amewu. And so that interest is not close enough to merit such a relational issue. Again, makes the point that the allegation by Mr. Chikata has no substance. And the five member panels unanimously decided to dismiss the allegations and allow Judge Wanyanuga to stay on the panel to hear the case. Now, Joseph, we know that the bigger case, as you mentioned earlier, uh, concerns Mr. Amewu's eligibility to, to uh, go to Parliament on Thursday. When do we expect to get clarity on that? As I speak to you now, the court is currently hearing legal arguments uh, from Mr. Chikata and Mr. Goffredi Abouadami. Mr. Goffredi Abouadami, about two minutes ago, summed up his submission, which lasted about 20 minutes. Now, he makes the point that the people of Sao do not have voting rights in uh, the Hohoi constituency, and so the court should restrain the High Court from proceeding to hear the matter. He actually told the court that he actually holds the view that if there is anywhere they should be suing for, it should be affecting the Buim constituency and not the Hoi constituency. Since he says for the CI 128, they are currently part of the Buim constituency. As I speak to you now, Mr. Chikata has also commenced this oral argument and he's making the point that the AG admits that people's rights have been breached and so the mm. court should grant his request to allow uh, the High Court to continue to hear the matter. Joseph Akable, thank you very much. We'll come back to you later in the day when we have clarity on that particular case.